Welcome, we're still changing the subject um, and we're gonna, I'm going to show you three example questions and the objective is to make x the subject. Yeah, So it has to say x equals and then all the other terms, Yeah, 1x. And uh, we have to manipulate each uh, situation. Yeah, man. So for the first one, first I will take away y on both sides. So a fifth x equals 3 minus y. Um, so it's not really finished yet because it's a, a fifth of x, it should say a 1x. So I divide everything by a fifth or times everything by 5, which is the same thing, for it to say x equals 15 minus 5y. Okay, now that would be my answer. X now is the subject, okay? Moving on to the next question. Um, AX squared equals B squared. So first of all, I'll divide both sides by A. So X squared equals B squared over A. And how do I get rid of that squared? Well, then I have to take the square root on both sides of the entire side, so b squared over a, the entire fraction inside that square root sign. Uh, you could um, perhaps sort of simplify that, but that like that is fine. Okay, now here I have a fraction equals a fraction. You could do some cross multiplication if you like. So it's going to say um, 2x squared y, 2x squared y equals 6a plus 18, yeah, don't forget to multiply that 3 by 6 as well. Good. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 2y. So it says x squared equals 6a plus 18 divided by 2y. And then again, that square, how do I get rid of it? By taking the square root. So I'm going to write my answer over here. My final answer is the square root of 6a plus 18 over 2y. And make sure it's very clear that the entire fraction is inside that square root sign, not just a numerator or anything like that. Yeah? Okay. I have one more video for you about changing the subject or transforming formulae. Um, and then um, you have to do one extra thing. And that's a typical question you can expect on a maths exam. Yeah? So make sure you check my next video. I'll see you there.